Hello, our journey through Holy Week brings us to Wednesday the 13th of April and our theme today is Just As I Have Loved You. Our reading is John 13, 21 to 35. After he had said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified, Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another, at a loss to know which of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said, Ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then, dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, what you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out and it was night. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The theme of sacrifice persists during the lead up to Good Friday. Here, Jesus begins to wrap up his teaching to his disciples with a constant heartbeat, love one another. This sort of love has texture, depth and challenge. Jesus' words about love are immediately preceded by the reality of the betrayal to come from one of his friends. None of the disciples understood what Judas was going to do, nor did they foresee that they themselves would desert Jesus. Yet they are told to love one another with no exceptions. This is where Jesus' words bite. It would be much easier to act consistently with justice if we could simply give those we dislike what we think they deserve. The gospel, however, does not allow us this luxury. Jesus' call is for a group of less than perfect disciples to learn to love one another as he had loved them through the way of the cross. And a prayer. Loving God. Create in us the desire to love as you have loved, so that we may love one another as your people, your family, and share this love with all we encounter. Amen. <laughs>